In this tutorial, I will guide you step by step on how to create visually stunning dashboards using Excel. By the time you finish watching this video, you'll have all the skills and knowledge you need to create your own impressive dashboards. Let's take a moment to visualize how our dashboard will look once it's completed. Let's bring your data to life. Step 1. Data Investigation To start off, let's dive into the data and explore its structure and content in detail. By analyzing the data, we'll gain valuable insights that will help us create more meaningful and informative dashboards. Let's roll up our sleeves and dig into the data. As we delve into our dataset, we can observe that it revolves around orders. With 21 columns and 9,994 rows, this dataset provides a rich source of information to explore. Among the notable columns are customer name, segment, state, sales, and several others. These columns hold valuable insights that will fuel our analysis and help us create an insightful dashboard. Let's dive deeper into the data and unlock its potential. To extract the most important information from our dataset, we will employ the power of pivot tables. Pivot tables allow us to summarize and analyze data in a dynamic and customizable manner. By organizing and aggregating data based on specific criteria, we can uncover patterns, trends, and key metrics. We will create multiple pivot tables to gain different perspectives and insights from our data. Each pivot table will focus on a specific aspect or dimension of the data. Let's proceed with adding a new page to our dashboard, where we will place our pivot tables for easy analysis and comparison of data. Now that we completed that, let's go ahead and create a pivot table, to demonstrate the process and showcase how it can help analyze and summarize data effectively. To create a pivot table, we need to follow these steps. First, we will select the data range. In other words, we need to choose the range of data that we want to include in our pivot table. This can be done by clicking and dragging over the desired cells. In our case, we can press Ctrl A, and we will select all data from our table. Second step is to insert the pivot table. We need to go to the Insert tab in the Excel ribbon and click on the Pivot Table button. This will open the Pivot Table Creation dialog box. Next, we will choose the data source. It is important to ensure that the correct data range is selected in the dialog box. If not, manually enter or adjust the range. Last step is to select the location. We need to decide where we want to place the pivot table. We can either choose an existing worksheet or create a new one. In our case, we will place pivot table in existing worksheet. That's perfect. Now, it's the moment to input the appropriate data into our table, and this process is quite straightforward. Simply drag the desired columns into the designated box to include them. Let me show you how can you do that. That is great. Now we have our first column created, let's also insert our values. And that is it, we have created our first pivot table. Let's also modify this. Excellent. Now, let me create title. Okay, great. Process is the same for all other pivot tables, so I'm gonna leave that to you. Let's proceed to our next step. Step two, establish a plan of action. Congratulations on completing the data investigation part. Now, let's shift our focus to creating the dashboard. We'll start by designing the layout, adding shapes, and creating titles to give it a visually appealing and organized look. Once we have the foundation in place, we can begin creating the charts and visualizations to convey key insights effectively. Perfect, let's roll up our sleeves and start doing actual work. Step 3, Dashboard Design. Now, we can begin adding shapes. To start, let's insert a shape for our header. Afterward, we can move on to inserting shapes for the charts. That's perfect. Now, let's work on creating the background for our dashboard. By selecting an appropriate background, we can enhance the overall user experience and make our dashboard more engaging and appealing. Let's select the desired color. 
Let's fix this. Okay, great. Let's continue working. Now, I want to insert first shape for our charts. I'm gonna place it here. Let's also modify this. Let's modify the color. Excellent. Let me swiftly adjust the color gradient of our shape. That's perfect. I'm gonna move this to desired location. I'm gonna place it here. Let's resize this a bit. That is great. Let's duplicate this and place it in the desired location on the dashboard. That's perfect. Step 4, creating titles. Now, let me create title. I would like also to change its font. That's perfect. Now, let's start typing. Let's modify the color. Let's resize this a bit. It looks nice. I'm gonna make this bold. Now that we have completed that, we can move on to the next step. Step 5, creating charts. First, I'm gonna start inserting KPI cards. But, before we start, let me show you how I obtain the values for those cards. As you can see, we have three values here, corresponding to each of the KPIs that we will be creating. Let's take a look at how I generated those values and which functions I utilized. In our case, it's a simple summation function. Essentially, I'm summing all the values in the sales column to calculate the total sales, and applying the same approach to calculate the total profit and quantity. I'm going to recreate that function once again, to demonstrate the process. Let's select all values in sales column, and then press enter. And that's it. That's perfect. We have successfully created the first function for the KPI, and the same process can be followed for all other KPIs. Now that we have completed the necessary preparations, let's proceed to the actual creation of the KPI cards. To begin, we will insert a text box onto the dashboard. Once the text box is in place, we can proceed to customize its color and size to match our desired style. Let's select the desired color. That's perfect. I would like also to change its font. Alright, now we can begin inserting the KPI values into the text box. We will retrieve the values from the cells where we have created the sum function, and place them in the designated area, within the text box to display the KPI values. That is great. I would like also to change its font. Let's select the desired color. Amazing. Great. Now we can position the text box with the KPI value in the designated location within the dashboard. Let's change this. That looks much better. We can also resize the text box to ensure it fits nicely and is visually appealing. That's perfect. Let's duplicate this and place it in the desired location on the dashboard. Excellent. Now, let's select the appropriate values to display in our KPI cards. That's perfect. I will need to copy this style. 
That is great. Let's do that one more time. That is awesome. Great. Let's begin creating charts for our dashboard. I'll guide you through the process of selecting the chart type. First step is to select the data. We need to highlight the range of data that we want to include in the chart. This should include both the labels and the values. After that step is completed, we can insert the chart. We will go to the Insert tab in the Excel ribbon, and click on the desired chart type from the available options. Common chart types include column, bar, line, pie, and scatter plot. Next, we can customize the chart. I'm going to also need to change this. Let's resize this a bit. That's perfect. I will remove legend. That is great. Let's move on to creating the next chart for our dashboard. We'll follow the same process as before, selecting the appropriate chart type, choosing the relevant data, and creating the visualization. That is awesome. Let's change this. That's perfect. Let's place our charts in desired locations. I will also remove this background. That looks much better. Let's change the color for this visual, to make it more visually appealing and aligned with our overall dashboard theme. Excellent. Now that we have completed the creation of this chart, let's move on to the next one in our dashboard. I'm gonna place it here. Let's also modify this color. That is awesome. Let's also remove this. That is fantastic. Let's move on to creating the next chart for our dashboard. We need to highlight the range of data that we want to include in the chart. After that step is completed, we will go to the Insert tab in the Excel ribbon. This time, we will insert line chart. I'm going to make some improvements, to enhance its visual appeal. I will remove those grid lines. I'm going to also change the title. I would like also to change its font. That is awesome. I will also remove this background. That's perfect. I'm gonna move this to desired location. I'm gonna place it here. Let's also modify this color. That looks much better. I will also need to resize this chart. That is fantastic. Let's modify the color. I'm gonna choose this one. I'm gonna also need to change this. That's perfect. Now that we have completed that, we can move on to the next step. Let me insert data labels for this chart. Let's also modify this. Let's modify the color. I would like also to change its font. That is awesome. Let's proceed to our next chart. Let's populate our visual with the appropriate data. We need to highlight the range of data that we want to include in the chart. We will go to the Insert tab in the Excel ribbon, and click on the desired chart type from the available options. Let's insert this one. I'm gonna move this to desired location. Let's modify the style for this visual. Next, 
I will remove those grid lines. Let's also modify legend for this visual. Now that we have completed that, we can move on to the next step. Let me resize this. That's perfect. I will also remove this background. Excellent. Let's resize this a bit. Let's also modify this color. That is great. I'm gonna also change the title. Let's also modify legend for this visual. Now that we completed that, we are almost done. Let's also modify this color. I'm gonna choose this one. Let's resize this a bit. Fantastic. Let's proceed with adding the final chart to our dashboard. First, let's select the data for our chart. Next, we will go to the insert tab in the Excel ribbon and click on the desired chart type from the available options. Now, I'm gonna insert bar chart. I'm gonna move this to desired location. I'm gonna place it here. Let's also modify this. Let's change this. That's perfect. Let's also modify this color. Next, I will remove those grid lines. That's perfect. I will also remove this background. That looks much better. I will need to change one more thing. Let's also modify this color. That is awesome. With this chart completed, our dashboard is now finished and ready to be presented to our stakeholders. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.